In this week's Life in Balance, we are talking holiday spending and saving. Not to stress you out, but Christmas is 72 days away. That stresses me out. Money coach Whitney Hansen is back with what you need to be doing right now to make sure Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. 44% of Americans don't have enough money to cover a $400 expense. When she's not writing about money, she's talking about it. So you had a financial event in your life and now it changed you and you want to share it with others, right? Whitney Hansen is all about money. I've been working with people one on one, helping them pay off debt, live on a budget, do all the very boring stuff, but very important stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. Her advice for the winter holidays, start saving now. It's ideally yesterday, but you know, as soon as possible because Christmas is really expensive. Consumers are expected to spend on average $967, and that's just on gifts and decorations. Considering most people can't even cover a $400 emergency expense, Whitney says $967 is probably too much to spend. Her advice, figure out what's best for your bottom line. Right now, the best thing to do is just set that intention. So start to plan for it. What is the budget? How much do you actually want to spend? How much do you feel like you can afford? Once you figure out how much you can spend, start saving. She likes a good old fashioned savings account. Talk with your bank. They already have this system set up where you can immediately transfer a certain um, amount every single month into a savings account for you. And so you can do that per paycheck. You can do it once a month. You can do it randomly. Apps can help with automatic savings too. One of Whitney's favorites, the Capital app. Capital helps you save for the things that matter to you. So every time you swipe your card, it rounds up to the nearest dollar and then saves that into a savings account for you. So if you do it automatically, once you get to the point where you're ready to purchase gifts, you're in a really good financial position. Another suggestion this money coach gives her clients, the 52 weeks savings challenge. So week one, you save a dollar. Week two, you save $2. Week three, and by the end of that, after a full year, you have $1,300, almost $1,400. And if you're really desperate, try freezing your credit cards. And what I mean by this is get a little mason jar, fill it up with water, put your card in the water, and yes, physically freeze the card. Literally freeze it. <laughs> Literally freeze it. It sounds so weird, but it's one of those things where if you have to wait for your card to completely thaw out before you make a purchase, it's going to minimize a lot of those crazy impulse buys that we have. Knowing when to shop can also save you money. So for electronics, we always think that you're going to get some great deals around Black Friday, and you will, but actually the best time is at the early side of November. As for the best time to shop for toys? Right before Thanksgiving, the day before actually. You'll usually find some really great deals then. Whitney is a fan of online shopping because it's easy to compare prices to find the best deals, but she cautions online retailers have gotten smart to entice you with impulse buys. So we see this a lot with Amazon. When you're shopping, they also make recommendations of, hey, you might also like this. And if it's an item that you truly have been looking at, they're tracking the cookies on your computer. They can see exactly what products and services you're interested in. By far the biggest mistakes to avoid when it comes to holiday spending, not saving and not having a plan. Setting that expectation early on with your family and friends of what you can afford and even with your kids and your spouse, let them know this is this is what Christmas is going to look like. So if you set that expectation early on, you don't feel pressured and your family doesn't feel awkward if they don't get their dream gift. Whitney also likes the Walmart app because, you know, have you ever noticed the barcode at the bottom of the Walmart receipt? You can scan that and it'll let you know if a price has been reduced so you can go in and adjust it at the customer service counter at Walmart and they will give you the difference on a gift card. So Walmart. it may just be a couple of bucks here and there, but again, over time it adds up. That's what she's getting at. Start with baby steps and it makes a big difference. Okay, two revelations for me. Walmart gives out receipts? Yes. And Christmas is 72 days away? Yes. Oh, my. Oh, I need to ask some aspirin right now. What do you mean, Walmart? I mean, <laughs> when I go to Walmart, my receipt's about this long. What do you mean they don't give out receipts? I run in, get some washer fluid for the car, and hit, Oh, he's the hit, guy that goes, no, I don't crowd. need my receipt. But see, now you do. Now you need it, and you need to save that little barcode. Jay, I know you it's, learned a bunch, a, too. It's amazing how easy that is, by right? the way. Yeah. You don't have to like, look through ads, whatever, anymore. I didn't know that you could just scan Oh, yeah. Scan Never pay full price for anything. When's the last time yeah. you went shopping? 
Yes, yeah, so I've I done it. So. I've Can done I, it. I, I'm going to add one more thing just because you guys, I know you yeah. want these tips. So seriously, never pray, pay full, full price for anything. I was at Carter's today uh -huh. buying winter pajamas for the kids. Uh -huh. I just searched Carter's in-store app and I got a 20% off on my phone. You mm -hmm. hand it to them. Kink. Boom. See, you guys don't shop as much, but I'm telling you, never pay full, full price for never. anything. I don't know why I can't say that. I do a lot of returning, though. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, I've heard your return stories. <laughs>